Good evening, I'm Rachel Hartog. The Indianapolis Museum of Art announced today it is cutting 29 jobs in what it calls strategic restructuring. The jobs will be eliminated across all departments and a press release says the museum will rely more on donated and earned revenue for its operating expenses rather than on its endowment. The release says the IMA is making this move because investment managers do not believe nonprofits will earn as much money in the immediate future. Last summer's drought dried out much of Indiana's farmland, leaving some farmers to question whether it could be restored before this year's planting season. But weather conditions in the past two months put much of the land in good condition. State climatologists say warm temperatures in January thawed out the land, and the all-day rains that followed saturated the soil, essentially recharging the land. Another couple inches of snow is expected this week, which would provide further moisture for the soil. But small farms are still taking precautions, such as purchasing straw bales to keep in the moisture during the summer months. And one year after tornadoes ripped through southern Indiana and devastated the towns of Marysville and Henryville, residents continue to rebuild. WTIU's Gretchen Frazee has more. One year ago, tornadoes devastated much of Henryville, tearing apart houses and ripping down walls at the high school. But now many residents have already rebuilt. A photo of Boudreaux Sykes' restaurant, severely damaged when a bus was thrown into it, made national news. He's now reopened the restaurant and named it Boudreaux's Bus Stop. Sykes says he realizes his family was lucky compared to many others in town. So we were just out or like a paycheck, but the rest of the people here lost their homes. They lost everything they worked for. They're the ones that hurt. I mean, we got hurt by losing the stuff, but we still had a home to lay our head down. These people here didn't. Ten miles northeast in Marysville, resident Teresa Stewart says the post office where she works was one of the only buildings left intact after the tornadoes. She says neighbors now gather there to catch up since many other buildings are still in disrepair. Small communities are a good place to be, you know, because everybody pulls together and we all stick together. And you go back to the old times where you got people living with people right now and staying with people and people are opening up their homes for people to come in and stay. and and have been staying there for a year. There's still much work to be done in the two towns, but Stewart says she's confident residents will keep working together to rebuild their community. For WTIU News with producer Dan Goldblatt, I'm Gretchen Frazee. And here's a look at the weather tonight. Cloudy with rain with lows in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with rain, highs in the upper 30s. Tomorrow night, cloudy with a 70% chance of snow, lows in the upper 20s. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow, highs in the upper 30s, lows in the lower 20s. And Thursday, mostly clear with highs in the lower 40s and lows in the mid 20s. For WTIU News, I'm Rachel Hartog.